Alright guys, welcome back to African Airlines. Today is not going to be a typical shooting day. Uh, we're at the range. Just want to talk about a couple of things for the profit. Um, one is that annoying sound after I shoot. Uh, very, very irritating. And then I've had a couple other problems with rifle, but uh, the best way to get to that is to actually take the whole rifle apart and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to remove, there's a check valve in here uh, which is making this noise, so every time you fire what's happening is the plenum is, is in a lower pressure than in this section here so it then allows it to breathe through and it makes that irritating noise to when it refills the plenum and the problem also with that is because it's not an instant fill your follow-up shots tend to be a bit on the inconsistent side because if you uh, recycle the rifle to and fire it then the plenum is not at the same pressure as what the regulated section of this is. So I think the best thing to do is try and remove that little one-way valve that's in here. And also we want to look at what's been the problem with this valve. Uh, and I'll explain that to you guys uh, after that. But this, to show you guys again. Super annoying. <laughs> I think the next best thing is just get on the bench and we'll take it apart. See you then. Alright guys, so I've got the Profit 2 on the bench. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this bottle. The rifle is degassed, so always make sure you degas. And even when you've degassed this, make sure that the plenum area is empty. So just going to move that there. And then we're simply just going to unscrew the bottle. It's going to leave that right, right there. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is remove the shroud. Take us. We're going to undo. Okay, so that's four of them removed. We want to take this scope run off. So there's two little screws right here. So let's leave that right over there. All right. Just, just want to check what size these guys are here. No. All right. Unscrew the shroud. Yep. Just like that. It's going to take it off. Put the shroud right there. Okay, so now, so now you got the barrel. So the barrel, what you want to do is again, there's another little socket screw right there. Over here. Then, so it just goes there. Then what happens is you can see where the indent for the barrel is. And now the barrel just pulls out the front right there. Alright, so the barrel, okay, and then you can see the massive uh, transfer port that this barrel has. It's quite a unique design, I haven't seen one quite like that. So it's machined all the way, just like that. Alright, so we're going we're gonna to take these side plates off the front and the back one. So there's one side plate. Put that over there. Next, we're just going to flip this over, just like that, and we're going to remove this other side. So that's the next plate. Okay. We want to remove the trigger rod from here. That's the trigger rod right here. Yeah. All right. All right. The next thing we we'll do is we want to actually remove this little screw right over here. Okay. So it can be a bit finicky. All 
All right, so there we, we have that little screw that holds the little cocking arm onto the spot. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we actually want to unscrew this. There's a, right over here, this bar is connected, it's threaded right to there, over there. So what we want to do is we want to actually undo this, just like that. So it separates. So now this is no longer connected to this. Okay. So we then want to remove this little plate here. Okay, so now we got those two separated. So now what we can do is we can twist this off. And a half. So eight and a half twist to get that unscrew this. So right here is the valve assembly. Okay. So this over here is the valve assembly. So if you take it out, inside there's a little spring right there, and then the slides, just like that. And Whenever your gun fires, it goes like this, and the thing goes out through the transfer port. Um, there's also a little hole that's in the stem here. That what happens when it's open? It allows pressure to go back into this little tube and push the valve closed. So, very very cool design. So, guys, the one problem that I had was in fire, maybe three, a couple hundred shots, and suddenly the gun, the valve would start leaking, and it, I couldn't figure out what was going on. So actually what happened was this piece here and that are not the same piece. So they, this actually screws onto the valve stem. And so this would be loose and there's a little o-ring so it would, wouldn't create a proper seal on the inside. So what I did was um, I took it all the way off and put a very, very heavy duty Loctite on, on the thread on the inside and then tightened it up. And that's another thing I'm just checking for that it's not loose at all. So that is the little poppet. There, the valve stem, and that's the part of the valve stem. So those are actually in separate parts. There's like three separate parts there. All right, so that's, so the next thing I want to do is I want to get this, this tube off this receiver. I want to take out the check valve out of here because that's what's making a squeaking noise. So I'm going to get to that. All right, so what I've done is I've just put wrapped a bit of uh, shop rag around the bottom of the tube here to give it more grip also to try to prevent galling but uh, I did try it early on and then did kind of mark it so I thought let's try and wrap it this time and this is very very you got to really give this a really good like difficult to get this thing to break okay so there you go Okay, eight and a half as well. All right. So, as you guys can see, there's a little O-ring here. All right. I'm going to grab that little O-ring. That's got to go back, just so you guys know that. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. And then this is a little check valve. There's nothing else in there. I don't know if you can see all the way through there, but... Um, so that's the little check valve. That creates that very annoying uh, squeaking noise when you shoot the gun. So... This will not go back in there. And I'm also kind of hoping now that my shot to shot consistency will, will actually be better without having this check valve in there. So we'll put that back in. All right. But this little o ring now needs to go right back in here. Can you get it? So it's got to get seated right back in there. All right. That's going to be ready to go back into the gun.